Carlisle really well, it's a great city, it's beautiful, great people. And I wanted to come and see what was happening after the floods and how the council was performing. I also wanted to support the Labour candidates who are working hard to try to provide the best they can for the city of Carlisle. But uh, what's very interesting about the way in which the Conservatives are funding local government is how, first of all, they are cutting things to the bone. But the areas which have been cut the worst are places like Carlisle. And I don't know if you know this, but in Carlisle the average wage is £150 less than it is in Westminster. The average wage in Westminster is £150 higher. And yet, the cuts to Carlisle are much greater. I don't know if you know this, every household in the whole of Carlisle has lost around about £350 in funding for the council. And obviously that's having a devastating and very difficult effect. And I wanted to see how the Labour Council in Carlisle was doing. Now I think they're doing pretty well if I'm honest, they're doing great, they're great, it's a great council, the boys have the trouble with the floods, and I think the people in Carlisle should stick with the council, which is in the middle of resolving this floods problem, rather than risking a change to a Conservative council. The treatment of the North by this Conservative government has been a disgrace in terms of flooding, absolutely shocking, and even now, after all this time, we still aren't quite sure what Carlisle needs to be protected from flooding for the future, but what is clear is the amount of money that the government's made available is simply not enough and not fast enough to resolve the problems. I know there are 1,700 properties that have been flooded in Carlisle, and those people are very anxious who live there, all those businesses, about what's going to happen every time it rains. It's time the government got on with this job and resolved Carlisle's problems and the problems through the north. It's, it's, we call it a northern power sham, not a northern power house. And the reason is, is because if you take the funding for the councils in the north, you'll find something interesting. Three and a half billion pounds worth of cuts from northern councils at the same time that Mr Osborne is talking about the Northern Powerhouse. So I liken it to, he's stolen the shirt off our back and he's giving back the buttons off the shirt as if somehow we should be grateful for it. It's not, it's not a powerhouse, it's a power shop.